Hey, it's Love Coach Natalina. Today I've got Coach Riley Rose with me as a guest expert. So glad to have you along. Let us know what you think in the comments. Coach Riley Rose from, remind me, how do you find you on the internet? RileyRoseCoaching.com? Yes. Yes, RileyRoseCoaching.com. Nice. Okay, so today we are going to have about intimate conversation about empowerment. So Riley and I, we are both Rory Ray coaches and I think fairly equally, what do you want to say, um, obsessed with the transformation and the empowerment that we both received from going through Rory's process and system. And, uh, her programs. And that's why we're here today. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Riley? Oh, okay. Well, I <laughs> I am also like Natalina said, a Rory Ray coach, and I focus a lot on awakening your feminine power and awakening your feminine energy, and really focusing on the aspects of that and how that can attract lasting love and attract the man you want and also turn your relationship around you know even if it's going bad yes absolutely and okay now you haven't said anything about it but if you go to riley's website RileyRoseCoaching.com. You can download her free report, and it is amazing. Mine's cute. Hers is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. No, really. Okay, so <laughs> I want to share a little part about it, and I'm I'm gonna ask you to share a little bit about what you do as like a civilian. <laughs> um, yes, this is me talking all esoteric. Like, there's a part in your in your report, and you can download it for free at Riley Rose Coaching where you talk about there's two things actually okay one where like there's this well and in my head when i was reading that part i just like i was transported to england have you been there have you been there to like the the magical feminine like empowerment well do you know what i'm talking about yeah me yeah. uh yes i was while i was creating this tool i was you know, just kind of trying to think of just something that I could really visualize and that just felt, I don't know, kind of old timey and also like beautiful and with all these flowers and big stones and, uh, and that could really help you get into the imagery and into the visualization so that you can experience it in a more powerful way. And it kind of, for me, when I was thinking about it, it was kind of like a well that I might see in a Disney movie or something like that. I got that impression too. I got that impression too. And me being a Disney nerd as well, you know, like, it kind of hits all of the spots. It really does. You know, wow. Okay, so yeah, like I was transported to these beautiful places. And I don't, like, I don't want to give away the whole tool here unless you, no, 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 not, not here, not yet. <laughs> The other part, the other part was about like the breath and the breathing. And if any of our watchers are into yoga or any of, you know, it's so popular right now, but there's so much around breath work. And I've been a little bit surprised at those who haven't gotten in touch with this. But Riley talks about, should I say it, in your civilian life, what you do as a, um, uh, I'm a respiratory therapist <laughs> and so I was able to use my knowledge of the lungs and kind of and uh, the transportation of oxygen in the blood and all of that and use that you know as a way to create a tool and to really like you know visualize where your breath is going in your body and and it's just such an amazing way to just be present, get out of your head when you're spiraling and to just take a moment and bring yourself back to your breath. And whenever you realize like all the processes that go into it, you're just like, wow. 
wow. <laughs> so yeah, I I absolutely loved it. Like, I mean, I felt like I was a beautiful place reading that. As silly as that sounds, like the imagery that you're clued into, it's 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 gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I just wanted to highlight those those couple of things. Um, into empowerment you know a big part of that is being with ourselves and the breath and that water the imagery that you know all the tools that we learn as coaches and how we share with our clients um, I, that really serves to helping women stay in our bodies to be where we are and to you can't you can't really be a magnet if you're trying if you're always trying to go someplace else if you're always trying to go someplace else however with the breathing it kind of really focuses you in on and oh, i just i'm seeing your tool i'm seeing your tool like in my head like just like oh i have lungs wow i have a body you know it sounds stupid like i'm saying it and i'm like wow Madalena, yeah you've got a body oh yeah you've got lungs oh yeah you need air but honestly, how often do we like just skip over that it, to get to, you know, this man to love us, to get, you know, this thing to happen in a relationship. We're everywhere and not empowered, which brings us to the topic that today is all about, just about empowerment. Empowerment as a woman, what does this mean? What does this mean to you as a viewer? And what does this mean to us? We're going to share. Uh, for me, I feel like empowerment is, you know, remembering this feminine goddess energy that we have inside us that a lot of us have forgotten because in order to make it in this very masculine oriented world, we have to embody these masculine energy qualities, which is okay. And that gets us to where we want to go. It's not a bad thing, but it does not help us in relationships. And, you know, when we think about, you know, just this, that we have this feminine energy goddess inside us and it's like, oh, wow, like I have this power and I just, I feel, feel, feel so confident that I have it in me and I just feel so empowered and it just kind of brings me back to, you know, be like being yourself, your true authentic feminine self in a relationship and not like just skipping over that and trying to just get what we want instead of, like you said, being a magnet and being a magnet attracts. They don't have to go out and get anything. It just attracts. And so when you have this mindset of attraction, of receiving, you know, you just, things just start to come towards you. Yeah, that, um, nice. about that, like, being a feminine goddess, that, I mean, that's also some imagery that just, it makes me go wild, like, and I geek out about all the mythology, um, but what, like, in that space is this idea of competition, like, in the workplace, and feeling empowered, and doing all these things that men do to keep up. Like, I think that's really big and that's been really big for women for a really long time. Actually, I looked up, I looked up the difference between empowerment, like, um, just looking it up and women's empowerment. Okay. So empowerment, I'm just going to read it from the, uh, uh, authority or power given to someone to do something. The process of becoming stronger and more confident, especially in controlling one's life and claiming one's rights. So that's like the basic definition of empowerment. Okay, are you ready for the, like what it says about women's empowerment specifically? You ready? Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so women's empowerment is the process in which women elaborate and recreate or recreate what it is that they can be, do, and accomplish in a circumstance that they were previously denied. Wow, so kind of like women's rights. Yeah. I, I don't think that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it just doesn't feel right to me. I yeah. I, like yeah. We, I think we've all, like, gotten it really confused in our brains and in our bodies, you know, like, you know, 
I, I really like this little jacket, but it is it is severely 80s. It is severely <laughs> 80s. You know, you can see how big the shoulders are, and you know, my shoulders are not this big. And for some reason, this let us know, let me know if this, if you're like Natalie, and this, I don't know what you're talking about. But like, you know, like trying to recreate what a man is. Like in the 80s, like the whole silhouette was very much like, you know, the power suit, um, you know, like, in tr like not only in our bodies, like we're trying to look like men. We're, you know, we're trying to do all of this to keep up with men and where is, where, you know, where is, that's kind of a rejection of who we are and it's in the end even if we do even when we do learn to do the things that men do it's not as satisfying I, I think it's not as satisfying that's what I've learned from being a part like learning from Rory like you can you can be in your feminine and you can get things done you can be a woman fully and not just be, you know, and have to give up on a success and, you know, being challenged and being challenging and being, you know, wildly sick. You know, I think I'm repeating myself, but uh, I mean. It's like we're giving up the parts of us that make us so powerful and beautiful. And, you know, we're shoving that down to, you know, try to make it in this masculine world and be more like men. And, you know, we forget a big part of who we are. And whenever we fully embrace who we are, I feel like we that's when we come into our power and that's when we feel that empowerment and that's where it really comes into play. Yeah, yeah. Until you bring your whole self into the mix, you're not truly empowered. I think you said that, you said that really well. You gotta bring yourself into it in order to really be in your power. Otherwise you're, you know, but then again, I'm like, but then again, pow, you know, you gotta know who you are, you know, and, and a lot of women, I mean myself, I'm speaking for myself and therefore I imagine many, many, many others that I didn't know who I was as a woman. You know, I turned 13 and I all of a sudden, like my body was different. I know I like everything was different and I like it 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 was yikes you know it was yikes yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like we could around. speak for most women whenever it was it was yikes at that point in time <laughs> what's going on all these feelings don't know what to do with them But that is one of the amazing things about like, you know, our feminine energy and being empowered in these tools that we as Rory Ray coaches create is, you know, a lot of us never learned how to be in our feelings and to feel our feelings. And, you know, myself included. And so with the doing all of these things and it helps us to, finally like oh this is a feeling and really get into it and experience the feeling be able to express it without being dramatic if that makes sense <laughs> well yeah I mean I you know there's a fine like okay so I like theater my husband is very into theater and for myself when I'm emoting like it's kind of a catharsis in our house it shouldn't be you know we we talked about this when we first got married he's like okay no drama at the dinner table and i'm like but i hate broccoli you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? like I mean, it's a fine line there can be like a, a, and i don't hate broccoli i was just being dramatic see i was just being dramatic it sounds like you were playing and that <laughs> is absolutely wonderful like we like you know that is part of being a feminine energy is playing just being and playing and men love to play men speak that language and yeah. so 
Yeah. Okay. So like we're okay. We'll, we'll just do this one one last. I just one last thing here, and we'll let you go. Um, okay. So like drama versus emotions. Like that's one of the biggest problem that women and men have in the area of connection. We think that we're we think we're sharing our feelings. We think that we're sharing the deepest parts of our soul, but it's kind of just not, it's not, it's not it. Yes. It's like you're, it's like you're sharing just this, the surface of yeah. it, but it's not truly, you know, we, 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 we think we're angry, like, cause we, cause he did something, but we're actually feeling, we're actually feeling hurt or we're actually feeling rejected, but it comes out as anger. Yeah. And so when we're able to, and you know, and being emotional is about, you know, knowing what you are feeling and feeling it instead of reacting on the sudden urge, these sudden feelings that you have based on whatever it is a man does that word right there, reacting on an urge, like, oh my gosh, that totally destroyed my life up to a very recent point. Ah! I stubbed my toe, it's the world's fault, everything is bad. Like, is it really? No. Oh, you know, like, it being able to touch that part of yourself, it's being able to, you know, in this case, be, you know, be with your toe and still feel love for your husband or your boyfriend or you know your puppy dog or you know like feel you know gratitude for having walls to hang your art on or you know and live inside of and I mean it all comes together a lot of the times like one thing you know it's been pressed down so long that it's like it's ready to punch you and everybody else in the face before anything is really felt. And we're like, my feelings! They're like, um, <laughs> wow, I really feel how intense <laughs> this is, you know, for you. And I love you and I want to be here for you. And some people, like, they just, you know, like, we have to be there for ourselves first before we really get to enjoy that synergy with another person. Um, oh, yes. The, you know the reaction the reaction oh that's a big one that's a big one oh yeah it's to respond instead of react yes yeah. yes i think a lot of people will be really surprised to find that you can you can have your anger and not you know burn the whole down or burn the whole world down like, oh yes and it's not my favorite thing to feel i'll tell you what it's not my favorite it Feeling angry feels a hell of a lot better than feeling <laughs> hurt. I'm sorry. Oh. Excuse me, but it's just when you're feeling, it feels a lot better than feeling hurt and, and upset. You know, so for me, whenever I can tap into my anger, it's like, ooh, I feel spunky. Kind of feel a little power here, you know, and it's a different vibe than this, this disappointment, this upset, hurt feeling. And, you know I, I can pick up what you're putting down i'm you know i think the way that i've had to deal with my anger is all like okay oh i feel you <laughs> i feel you but generally i'm i'm the kind of person that can't really get a lot done from anger except for like kick down walls and, 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 you know that energy that raw energy as you become more and more aware of this natural vital energy inside of you aka the anger that's like as you can turn it into fuel you can and i think riley can riley can teach you how i'll walk with you, if you want to walk. <laughs> but um yeah you can literally take all this feeling and you can channel it into something beautiful that fuels you and brings a man closer it empowers you can empower you all of this can empower you and oh yes yeah i i think i think that's i think that's a wrap here unless you have anything else you want to share today really um no natalina that i feel like you hit it hit the nail on the head and thank you so much for having me i really appreciate it absolutely
absolutely. So you can find Riley at RileyRoseCoaching.com and that's Riley with an A at the end. It's very fascinating. Yes, it's R-Y-L-E-A. No one ever gets it right. <laughs> so love to you. Love oh, thank you. Us. And if there's a place to leave a comment, then leave us some love. Tell us what you like. Thank you.